numbers. This is just a little thinking stuff. It scares me a little with this group, but we'll give it a shot anyway. The technical definition of rational numbers I gave you, as a matter of fact, there's a sheet right here that you have. It has rational numbers is one of the categories there. Okay. The strictest definition of a rational number is any number that can be written in fractional form or written as a fraction. And that is why basically every number that you know is a rational number. Okay. <coughs> you look at 7 and you say, well 7, that's not a fraction, but you can make it a fraction. It's 7 over 1. Okay. You look at 6.3, you say, well that's not a fraction. But you can make it a fraction. It's the same as 6 and 3 tenths. Or if you make it an improper fraction, it's 63 tenths. Those are any number you can make a fraction is a rational number. Which I'm sure in your mind you're thinking, well, then what is something that is not rational? What numbers to us don't make sense? Parker? Negative? No. Nope. Negatives. You can have a negative fraction. No. Negative 5 tenths is perfectly okay. We call, by the way, if it's not rational, we call it irrational. Oh, by the way, it goes the other way. Two thirds is rational, right? It's a fraction. What is the decimal equivalent of two thirds? What is two thirds as a decimal? 0.6666. It's 0.6 repeater. We put that little repeater line over there. Okay. What is, um, gosh, does anybody know what 5 ninths is as a decimal? Did I ever give you the little sheet, the reference sheet that has those on it? 5 ninths is 0.5 repeater. And the dealio with that is. If a decimal is a repeater, you can always make it into a fraction. So all repeating decimals are also rational. If you came up with this number is 0 0.632 with a line above it, a rational number, it is. Because at some point, somewhere, you can make it a rational number. What are numbers that aren't rational? Wade? Pi is one of them. Faith? Square roots. Square roots that don't work out. That don't work out. The square root, the square root of 16 is rational because it's 4, but the square root of 3 is not because it doesn't work out. Irrational numbers are any numbers that are non-repeating, never ending decimals. Pi, if you remember, I don't think I have it up this year. Well, I do have it up right there. It's right there. Pi goes on forever, at least it has. Nobody's ever come to the end of it. It doesn't ever repeat, and it never ends. If you put this into a calculator, the calculator's decimal do end because the screen's only so big. Now, here, let me do it. Da -da 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 -da. Is this tools? Tools. More tools. Calculator. If I do the square root of, let's say, the square root of 6, 6 square root, okay, you get 2.494897422783178. It stops there because that's all the digits that calculator has. The square root of 6 goes on forever as a decimal and it never repeats. Okay, So that's what is irrational. It doesn't make sense to us. Everything else you know is going to be rational. So every other number you know will make sense to you. It's rational. If you could give somebody that amount of money or whatever, there's our rational number. Now, 
moving on, we have to talk about um, fractions. That's why that's in this part here. Just going to do a, oops, 